from Tucson, Arizona today. Uh, lots to do. We've got mountains that we've been in. It's been cold at night, frost on the windows, and then we've been in the desert uh, lowlands with the cacti. And yeah, we pretty much headed as far south as we could right away just to get the warmth for now because things, and then the dogs decided to get into cactus. So there's stuff <laughs> down here called choya or something like that. That's a jumping cactus and it protrudes itself into you, so it's not a lot of fun. We actually slept next to the proving grounds where the military test all their uh, their weapons and stuff. So it. one night we got to hear bombing, and then the next night we actually saw the SpaceX launch of their uh, new satellite, I believe. Yeah. And that kind of freaked us out. Um, we tend to be uh, on a service off grid a lot, and so we were for a while. We were doing our rock counting and exploring and didn't really see the news and didn't know the spacex launch was happening and yeah we were camping and looked up and we were laying in the back of the car and we saw <laughs> the, the sky light up and we were uh we were I like don't know. what is we that water and the dogs decided to get into some skunks which we <laughs> never even realized yeah. skunks were in arizona but they are so luckily that wasn't too bad of a situation they kind of got a little on their butt so I guess they got scared and ran back to us but got sprayed in the uh, on the way back so we took them down to the water and wa rinsed them off so that night we was kind of fun bath. But, yeah <laughs> they didn't dry off and then we were like they're not gonna sleep in the back with us because we want the bed nasty but they ended, they ended up, up the back, back there anyway so. <laughs> see javelinas uh, here's a tip go to the Walmart parking lot we saw about 15 javelinas running through the middle of Tucson. We had the pleasure of looking at um, some nebula and galaxies and the moon. Uh, we got a cool picture we'd posted on Facebook with that. We've been working on some, some more rock hounding, but this area is really great. Hey everybody, we're coming to you today from the Gila National Forest in New Mexico. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> have started the trek northward. We're pretty excited about that. Um, spring is here. Uh, right now we are, um, this, this is the Sierra Nevada mountains in California behind us. So we are currently docked around Sacramento, California, and um, it's kind of a nice middle point for us. We actually saw a seal one day, Yeah. and <laughs> we learned that they actually come up into the channel about 100 miles. As you can see, today we are in a really beautiful spot that we found. Um, we are currently in Oregon, so we wanted to uh, show you guys this awesome place that we found. It is the 4th of July today, and this is our 4th, of course, spending it kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, we're actually in an area called the Eagle Cap Wilderness. And check out these mountains, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> So we just crossed 2,000 subscribers on the channel, and we're super excited about we that. We are now in Idaho. Um, we've been here for a little while, but we've been kind of off the grid and finding some nice lakes and some water to be swimming in. Yeah, we're up here. We were doing some, some conservation work. Um, we were working with some grizzly bear stuff. Um, some elk we've seen around, a lot of deer. Uh, we think we might have seen a wolf. It's like right by our camp spot, which is cool. Lots of animals and lots of good
good, peaceful relaxation and hammocking and reading, so it's been pleasant. Got a little sunburn one day because we said to fall asleep in the sun, but... Yeah, if you see my nose peeling, it's, yeah, because we, we laid by a, a lovely lake and fell asleep yeah. <laughs> and got sunburned. Washington State, making our northward trek a little high from Kiwani. <laughs> Super cool. We've got a private water spot. And there we go. Look at that. We've got a really sweet waterfall. Um, the water looks inviting, but it is really, really cold. You want to see Kiwani? He is uh, he's finding cool rocks. He's still our rock hound. are now in Canada. I know we've been telling you we were gonna make our way up into Canada and we sort of delayed that for a while. Um, one big reason is because it's hot in Canada. So we climbed up this mountain to find a spot to sleep and of course we had to have a view. <laughs> so we got a view. We got a waterfall back there. It's probably hard to see. It's way in the distance but it looks very large. It happened. Um, so we've seen one grizzly, uh, four black bears, two foxes, Two Cup, moose. Uh, four swans, yeah, two moose, um, and a bunch of doll sheep. Which are so, so we are, we're in the Yukon. <laughs> we finally made it to the Yukon territory um, on our northern trek. We've been going to a few spots like museums and learning about all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and we're actually filming this at 10.30 at night. Yeah. So. Loving it. Been doing a lot of hiking up here so far. So we are in the Arctic. Um, so now we've been from Arizona to the Arctic and in between. <laughs> Just really need to see the different types of plants and uh, different types of ecosystem that's here. It's fall right now. Uh, we'll just show you, like right now we're just sitting in the forest and if you can see this, uh, it's really spongy. I don't know if you can tell. We are on a trek north right now on a, on a road called the Dempster Highway, which is apparently infamous for um, being kind of crappy in mm -hmm. spots. And we are in snow in August. It's pretty crazy. Just a few oh. spots um, where it rained a bit and the road does get a bit mushy. So we'll see. Yeah, it's <laughs> we'll just gravelly. And... We are, well, we are literally at the Arctic Circle. You can see that. I'll try to... Arctic Circle. And it is raining. It's getting faster faster so I gotta hurry up. Um, we've got a popped tire on the old Dempster Highway. But it's kind of challenging here because we can't tell. Um, we're like, I don't know, like 25 hours in between towns and in between there's really nothing else except Small there's like supposedly one place that has a gas station and I'm sure we'll have lots of fun stories to share with you. Okay, so We are kind of um, stuck in the Arctic right now. So, because the river level is too high, 
So we went just like on this little pull off to camp for the night. Cause yeah, again, we had to keep coming back to the river to check the conditions because we had no way. We are finally uh, back in Washington state. It's, it's one of our favorite places to travel around in. And we thought this would be a good spot to uh, bring you an update because we've got an awesome view. But we're slowly making our trek southward. Um, we stopped in Washington for a little while. And uh, then we came down and we went to like the John Day fossil beds and hung out there for a while and checked out the geology. And then we actually did a little stint over in Utah for a couple days. And then we went back over through Oregon, spent some days on the coast, let the dogs go in the ocean and stuff like that. So that was cool. And we're in the process of working our way down now kind of from Oregon into California. That's what our road turns into. Um, and uh, so we're just making a little announcement today about kind of where we're at with the channel and kind of with our life altogether. We've yeah. Been, yeah, we've been on the road for several years now and it's been fantastic. <laughs> um, so the the goal now is pretty much to stay with this lifestyle. Um, we'll be on the road pretty much to eternity. We've been doing this in the Great Escape. Um, so the big question is, what's next? Territory. We are now in the Midwest US. And uh, we today we are revealing our decision. Uh, we've, again, we've done a lot of research. Um, it's been, tiring for to say the least uh but we've made a decision and what we chose was the truck falling down Ooh, man, spin me around no one sees this would be See what it's like in the city. But you gotta keep moving somehow. Drifting. 